Welcome back everyone. My name is Philip. I'm the lead architect at Reef Finance. And in this part of the tutorial, we are continuing the dissection of the reef chain. In the previous tutorial, we talked about how one can transfer reef tokens from the Ethereum chain and the Binance Smart Chain to the reef chain. So go ahead and watch that if you want to follow along or be able to transfer, bond or nominate. With that being said, in this tutorial, we will be looking at the reef chain UI, which you can find at console.reefscan.com and hopefully clarify some things that might seem complicated at first. Once you open console.reefscan.com, you will be taken to the Explorer page. There's a lot of info here, so let's take it step by step. The numbers you see on the upper left corner refer to the blocks that are being produced at the moment. There's a timer, which indicates how many seconds have passed since the last block has been produced, the target time the block should be produced in, and the total number of native reef tokens in our blockchain, which is around 8.7 billion reef. Next, we have the epoch. An epoch is an era of time within a blockchain. This era of time is used to define when certain actions will take place, such as paying out rewards or when a new group of validators will be put in charge of verifying transactions. On the reef chain, it is one hour. On the bottom left side of the explorer, we can see the most recent blocks that are currently being produced, their number, hash, which is a unique identifier for a block, and who produced it. When we click on it, we can see some more information about that block. But it is mostly internal system information that you should not have to worry about. There is not much going on in this block except that it sets the time, which we can see here. Let's go into accounts. This is the page where you can manage your accounts. As you can see, I have four accounts. One is injected to the Polkadot wallet and the other three I have created here. Let's see how to make an account for the Reef chain. Click on add account. There are a few things going on here. The first part is the account address. The second one is the mnemonic seed, which is a random sequence of words which only you should ever know about and it is used to access or recover the account. Make sure you store this sequence safely. Once you've done that, check the checkbox and click next. Then input a name and a password for your new account. Click next and then click save and that's it. Once we've created the account, you can see some information about it, like the name, how many transactions on the Reef chain you have executed, and your Reef balance. If you click on the name, you can see more info on the right side of the screen, like the address, the name, and the tags. We can also transfer Reef from one account to the other. We do that by clicking Send, specifying to which address you want to send and the amount. Let's send to the new account we've just created. I want to send around 10 Reef. Click on Make Transfer and then Sign and Submit. You will be prompted to enter your password, which I'm doing off screen. And then the transaction should be done within a few seconds. There we go, the transaction is a success and we see our fresh 10 Reef on our new account we've just created. Okay, next in the account dropdown, you have the address book, which is like a contact list where you can save some accounts you might use often to be less prone to making mistakes while transferring or nominating. Lastly, there is the transfer option where it takes us to the same transfer screen as before, but this time you can choose which account you want to transfer from. Next, we have the network dropdown. It contains Explorer, which we talked about. So let's go to the next page, which is staking. On the staking screen, the first part shows information about the validators. In simple terms, validators are users which run a Reef chain node on their machine, thus producing blocks. As we can see, we have 21 validators producing blocks and all slots are filled, while 13 are waiting to become validators. As of this moment, there are 577 nominators. Then we see information about staked Reef tokens. And lastly, we see the epoch, which we talked about earlier, and the era. An era on the Reef chain lasts 24 hours and the start of every new era signifies the election of new validators. The bottom half of the screen is a list of all currently active validators, their address or ID if they have one. We can see that marked with a green check beside their name. Then we can see how much they have staked, how much others have staked, their commission, points, and last block produced. 
You can of course filter through these validators using the input above to find whoever you're looking for. Next, on the staking submenu, you can find account actions. This is where you can bond with tokens and nominate validators to reap rewards as they successfully produce blocks. You can see I have already bonded 500 Reef and I have nominated validators, which we can see in the middle of the list. The reason you see two accounts in my bonding session, so this is the first one and this is the second one, is because one of them is the stash account and the other the controller. Think of your stash account as a card where you keep all your money and the controller as the card where you spend your money whenever you need to. In order to use the controller, we will need to transfer Reef from the stash account to the controller account and do our actions from there. This is mainly for security purposes. Although you can just have one account do all the actions, I strongly encourage you to use the above method as it would add a great measure of security. There are some actions we can do here. We can stop, we can bond more funds, unbond funds, change controller account, change our reward destination, or even add more nominees to become validators. You can bond by clicking on the stash button and entering the required information here. I will be skipping this process for now and be saving it for the next tutorial that is about to come out after this one. In the payouts submenu, you can find how much reef you have earned by nominating validators. As you can see, I've nominated both of my colleagues' Furion's accounts, and as he's producing blocks, I'm gaining reef. You can choose to have your reef paid out here, or you can continue to gain reef for the remaining 83 days and 23 hours. You can pay out by clicking on each separate entity, or you can pay out everything at once by clicking on pay out all and clicking pay out. All of this stuff can be too much to handle for one video, so I'm going to stop the tutorial here. I encourage you to go to console.reefscan.com and check all of the stuff we've been talking about, poke and prod and test it for yourself. In the next video, we will go into more detail about what nominators and validators are, how to become one and continue exploring the Reef chain. Thanks for staying tuned and take care.